Rob, I've been saying for a long time, I think a lot of us know, uh, Ron Howard is one of the great directors of our generation. I, I mean, you look back at his filmography and he's just got some films that rank up there as some of the most enjoyable I've watched, you know, in my lifetime. I, I, I know he's made a lot of other stuff and maybe even better, but to me, Backdraft, best Ron Howard movie. Anyway, he's been working on another film that a lot of people are buzzing is an Oscar contender type of film called The Hillbilly Elegy. And the first trailer for The Hillbilly Elegy dropped today with Glenn Close and Amy Adams looking completely unlike Glenn Close or Amy Adams like we've ever seen. But it looks incredibly powerful. Like I was watching this trailer and it does everything a trailer should do, right? It, it sets it up, introduces you to the character. It gives you a general idea about what is the narrative of this story. And then it gives you a, a taste of the flavor of the film. And I got to tell you, man, I was watching this and I was riveted. And here's the thing. Ron Howard is not like a, is not like Quentin Tarantino where Within five seconds of watching a Quentin Tarantino trailer, you know it's a Quentin Tarantino film. Ron okay. Howard's not really like that, but I could really feel Ron Howard's DNA all over this trailer. I thought it looked spectacular. If it can actually, if the film itself can live up, you know, you've said before, one of the greatest things in life is when a trailer, a movie lives up to the promise of the trailer. If yeah. this movie can do that, I think we're in for something pretty special. You had a chance to check out the trailer for The Hillbilly uh, uh, Elegy. What did you think of it? Well, I have to say, I'm a lifer when it comes to Glenn Close. I, right. I love Glenn Close. I've loved her since since The World According to Garp, you know, in the big chill back in the early 80s. I loved her in Fatal Attraction, even though she was insane. Um, but driven insane by Michael Douglas. And it wasn't her fault. But I, I watched <laughs> this performance where she's completely giving herself over to a role. And I'm just like, my God. I mean, she has still got it. 40 years in, I, I can't get enough of my Glenn Close. And... Amy Adams, I mean, talk about these women are fearless. These performances look just astonishing, and uh, they've given themselves over to these roles. And I, I have to say, not necessarily in my wheelhouse, but I saw this trailer, and I'm like, man, I can't wait to see this movie. Yeah, and you know, I feel like we say this all the time, but it it bears being said again right here. Maybe this is the Amy Adams role that gets her her ever elusive Oscar. I right. mean, I've lost I've lost track of how many nominations she's had. She she is simply one of the best actresses out there. But this definitely looks like it could be a contender for her for that. Question is for you guys. Have you had a chance to watch this trailer for Ron Howard's new film? If so, what did you think about it? Jump down into the comment section below and leave us your thoughts. All right, guys.